So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to talk about the PIB news from the month of September and the dates are 15th and 16th. And in today's session, guys, there are only 13 questions and most of the questions are questions in short, which require, which do not require any detailed explanation. So today's session will be a little bit small. So let's begin with the very first question. But before we begin, if you want to have the PDF of this session, guys, one second. Yeah. If you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel and the link is provided in the description. All right. So let's talk about the very first question, which says, which of the following organizations has organized second edition of Angan conference in collaboration with Swiss agency for development and cooperation? Now you just have to identify the name of the organization which has organized this second edition of Angan conference in collaboration with Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. So remember, first of all, there is a full form of Angan as well. There is a full form of Angan as well, which is augmenting nature by green affordable new habitat, right? Augmenting nature by green affordable new habitat. And it has been organized by Bureau of Energy Efficiency, which works under the Ministry of Power. Now, what is the objective of Angan? The objective of Angan is to promote healthy ecosystem through life. And we all know life stands for lifestyle and environment, right? And it has been organized by Bureau of Energy Efficiency in collaboration with Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. It was already mentioned in the question under, under a project which is known as Indo-Swiss Building Energy Efficiency Project. All right. And remember, <clears throat> during this conference, the very first edition of National Energy Efficiency Roadmap for Movement Towards Affordable and Natural Habitat, which in short is Nirman, awards were felicitated and these awards are institutionalized with the objective to acknowledge and encourage exemplary building designs complying with BEE's Eco Niva Samhita. Kuch samaj nahi aaya. Let me repeat this. Now, why these awards have been given? Right. The object, the question is why these awards, the awards which are named as what Nirman, Nirman awards, why these awards have been given. So remember these have been given to the, to those building designs, to those building designs, uh, who have complied with Bureau of Energy Efficiency's Eco Nivas Samhita. All right. Now what is Eco Nivas Samhita? So remember these are a set of codes for energy conservation which residential buildings have to follow by which means while constructing a residential building, uh, these are the set of codes, which the builder has to follow regarding the energy conservation. All right. So therefore, uh, what is the question? Which of the following organizations? So it is BEE option B is the correct answer. Bureau of energy efficiency. Moving ahead to question number two. Which country will host the ninth session of governing body international treaty on plant genetic resources for food and agriculture? It is an important question and can be asked in your upcoming phase two of NABAD. Uh, this is an important question. I am saying this because it is being, it will be hosted by India, right? India will host the ninth session of governing body of this international treaty on plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. Now, why India, why will this conference be organized? Why will organized? So this will be organized to discuss related to discuss matters related to the development, conservation and protection of plant genetic resources to provide benefit to the farming community. Our farming community has to benefit provide, provide how by discussing development, conservation and protection of plant genetic resources. Now remember this treaty, it is a legally binding comprehensive agreement, which means uh, iske members hai, iske signatories hai, unke upar ye legally binding hai. It was adopted in the month of November 2001 at Rome during the 31st session of FAO, which works under United Nations, right? It came into force on 29th June 2004, and it has currently 149 contracting parties, including our Pyara Bharat, that is India. All right. And therefore the correct answer is option D. Option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number three and from now on the questions are direct which require uh, no explanation. So let's jaldi se karam karte. National Agriculture Higher Education Project which works under ICAR which is Indian Council of Agriculture Research and Crop Science Division has organized a hackathon for promoting 
स्पीड ब्रीडिंग फॉर क्रॉप इंप्रूवमेंट क्रॉप इंप्रूवमेंट के लिए स्पीड ब्रीडिंग राइट विच मीन्स ब्रीडिंग फॉर क्रॉप इंप्रूवमेंट इन शॉर्ट सो यू जस्ट हैव टू नेम दैकेथॉन राइट सो रिमेंबर गाइज द नेम ऑफ द हैकेथॉन इज कृतज्ञ एंड दिस वॉज दर्ड एडिशन दिस वॉज दर्ड एडिशन एंड द विनर्स ऑफ दिस हैकेथॉन विल गेट विल गेट रुपीज फाइव लैक एज प्राइज पांच लाख रुपए उनको दिए जाएंगे एंड इन कृतज्ञ क्री स्टैंड फॉर कृषि ऑफ कोर्स विच मीन्स एग्रीकल्चर ता स्टैंड फॉर तकनीक एंड तकनीक मीन्स वॉट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड ग्या मीन्स वॉट ज्ञान विच इज ऑफकोर्स नॉलेज राइट सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर विद विच आई आई एम इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कॉपरेट अफेयर्स हैज साइंड एन एमओ यू टू सिनर्जाइज अकेडमिक रिसर्च एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम्स इन बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट एंड कॉर्पोरेट अफेयर्स सो यू जस्ट हैव टू नेम दिस आई आई एम विद आई आई सी ए हैज साइन दिस एमओ यू नाउ रिमेंबर आई आई सी ए विच इज इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कॉपरेट अफेयर्स हैज साइन दिस एमओ यू विद आई आई एम जम्मू ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एज फॉर दारगेट सेट बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इंडिया विल रीच थ्री हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर वर्थ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड एक्सपोर्ट नाउ प्लीज डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज इट इज बोथ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड एक्सपोर्ट राइट एंड हाउ मच मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड एक्सपोर्ट इन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स विल बी डन बाय इंडिया इट विल बी थ्री हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर बाय फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी सिक्स दैट इज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन सी Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs headed by Hardeep Singh Puri and Hardeep Singh Puri is also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas has organized Indian Swachhta League to make the cities garbage free this we have discussed in the previous session i hope you all know this which state has shown the maximum participation based on percentage of urban local bodies participated which means kaun se state se sabse zyada urban local bodies ne participate kiya so the state in question is odisha from where 100% 100% urban local bodies participated in the indian swachhta league option b is the correct answer which ministry has launched swachhta hi seva fortnight campaign on the occasion uh, of uh, the swachhta divas i believe on the occasion of birthday of the honorable prime minister narendra modi 17 september which ministry has launched swachhta hi seva fortnight campaign to accelerate the efforts to out towards complete sanitation It is a massive community mobilization drive for cleaning up of legacy waste and activities for solid waste management. Right? The ministry in question, very easy question. And remember, this has been launched for rural India. Right? This has been launched for rural India. And when we are talking about rural India and we are talking about such a thing, the correct answer must be Ministry of Jal Shakti, which is headed by Mr. Gajendra Singh Shekhawat. His Lok Sabha constituency is Jodhpur, which is of course in Rajasthan. Question number eight. Name the portal launched in two thousand and fifteen under section thirteen of Commission of Protection of Child Rights Act of two thousand and five for registration of complaints about any violation uh, committed against a child. अगर किसी भी तरीके का कोई किसी provision का violation किया जाता है of the Commission of Protection of Child Rights Act of two thousand and five, then for that a portal was launched in the year two thousand and fifteen under which complaints can be registered. Right. The name of the portal is E Bal Nidan, right? E Bal Nidan is the name of the portal. And do remember one more thing: uh, you must have heard of this organization NCPCR, which is National Commission for Protection of Child Rights. It was established under Section Three of Commission of Protection of Child Rights Act of two thousand and five. Okay, and this E Bal Nidan was constituted under Section Thirteen. So option C is the correct answer. With which of the following industry bodies, National Commission for Women, which is headed by Rekha Sharma, has organized a round table on women empowerment in India and CSR as a catalyst to understand and plan the use of CSR funds for ensuring holistic development of women. So this was a round table which was organized by National Commission for Women in collaboration with Confederation of Indian Industry. Option E is the correct answer, and the current president of CII is Mr. Sanjeev Bajaj. All right, option E is the correct answer. Ministry of Education has launched Ram Krishna Mission's Awakening Program for ensuring holistic personality development of a child aligned with the philosophy of NEP 2020. For which classes students the program has been launched? कौन सी classes के बच्चों के लिए program launch किया गया है? And it is a part of new education policy or national education policy 2020. And remember this program has been launched for students from from class first 
to class 12th option b is the correct answer and nep 2020 reminds me of uh, bal vatika jo ki एक पार्ट है एक पोर्शन है अंडर दी न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी एंड बाल वाटिका बनाने वाला पहला स्टेट है उत्तराखंड उत्तराखंड इज द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू इंप्लीमेंट दिस बाल वाटिका इन द कंट्री राइट ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्लास फर्स्ट टू क्लास फिफ्थ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ असाम हैव साइन एन एग्रीमेंट विद रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ एट आदिवासी और ट्राइबल ग्रुप्स अंडर दी एग्रीमेंट ऑफ स्पेशल डेवलपमेंट पैकेज हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय बोथ दी गवर्नमेंट्स for infrastructure development in in these villages or areas where there is a tribal population how much amount has been allocated for the package now remember under this package 500 crore will be given by government of india and 500 crore will be given by the government of assam and therefore the total package amounts to rupees 1000 crores option c is the correct answer Name the event launched by the Center of Excellence for Khadi at Bangalore International Center with an objective of connecting Khadi with people. So you just have to name the event, and there is no need to go into the details at all. The event is named as Avartan. Option A is the correct answer to this question. And remember, it was launched by Center of Excellence for Khadi. And who is the chairperson of KVIC? It's Mr. Manoj Kumar. Manoj Kumar is the chairperson of KVIC. and the last question for today and the very important question the ministry of corporate affairs headed by nirmala sitaraman has revised the definition of small companies under companies act of 2013 as per the new definition the threshold for paid up capital has been increased from not exceeding 2 crores to not exceeding how much and turnover threshold has been increased from not exceeding 20 crores to not exceeding how much so you just have to fill these gaps So remember the paid up capital is now not exceeding four uh, crores, while the turnover threshold has been increased from not exceeding twenty crores to not exceeding forty crores, right? And therefore the correct answer is option D, four crores forty crores. All right, guys. So that's it for the session. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next session on Wednesday. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.